previous. Oh my god. Jesus! Oh. Hey! 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 Jesus! Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Evangelist Swini Lemangwadi. I come from Beggars Fort in Limpopo. The reasons which made me to come here, I came here for impartation. I met the Prophet Andres Wanunwan. Then he said something in my life. Firstly, he was talking about the ministry. He was saying that there will be some attacks in the area where I am ministering. So there are some attacks which might come from the people in the area because they may not understand uh, how God is using me. But he was saying that God is in control. I must pray. Then God is going to going God is in control. Then the other thing he was saying that uh, the number of people in the ministry they are uh, going up, going down, going up, going down. But uh, after coming to this place, God is going to restore the ministry. There will be some growth. Then again, he said he's seeing my house. When did I build the house? I told him that uh, I built the house uh, around 2018. Then he said, but he's seeing the house is not in, is not in, is not complete. Then he said, uh, God is going to provide the money for us to complete the house. Again, he was uh, talking about, asking about my husband. He said, where is my husband? I said, my husband is uh, back at home. Then he said, uh, is he coming to the ministry? I said, yes, we are working together. Then he said, God is going to provide uh, financially. He spoke about uh, the health of my, my mother. He said, my mother is not well. Because the health of my mother, it comes and go, comes and go. So we must not be caught by surprise. We hear that our mother is no more. So we must pray for our mother. 
that's what uh, the prophet said. I can confirm that it is true because sometimes my mother is not feeling well. She's she's ill. So I confirm that one. It's true. Now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm happy that God is going to touch, especially uh, my ministry, especially in the ministry of God, because he was saying, sometimes I see visions, sometimes I don't see anything. So God is going to open my eyes so that I can see in the spirit. So I feel happy. I feel happy, especially for the work of God. That's why I, I'm here. Receive the grace. Oh, okay. Receive this grace. Take it. Oh. Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ah. In Jesus. Oh. Brother, take it in the name of Jesus. Oh. Take it in the name of Jesus. Oh. Oh, 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 Jesus. oh, 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 Now you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. I'd love that you kindly please take us through it and please confirm what he said to you. Today I met the Apostle on one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, firstly, I addressed about my children. He said, uh, oh, it's like all of my children, they've got uh, calling just like me. But he said the first born, she's not going into the ministry because she will be very educated. So she will be someone who is very educated. But there's this small boy, uh, she will, you, you, you will start to prophesy even at a young age. Then he said, uh, did I know that uh, all my family members are called? Then I said, yes, I can confirm because uh, when I met him, I think it was about 2015, he addressed about the issue before I even knew that I was called. Then he touched again on my husband. He said, where is my husband? I said, my husband is back in Vegas 14 Limpopo. Then he said he wants to see my husband because he wants to guide him on how he's going to raise these children because they are going to be great children. So he wants to guide him about how to raise children. Again, he, wants, he touched about my husband, my husband again, about the ministry. He said it was my prayer for me, uh, for my husband to help me in the things of the ministry. But it's like whatever I'm praying, any prayer, God is answering that prayer. And he's seeing fire entering my husband and he'll start to do the things of the ministry. I, I feel great. I just want to thank God for that because... 
uh, my consent was uh, on ministry issues. But I just want to thank God I was imparted and I feel great. And the apostle was just saying, you will see how your ministry is going to grow. Just check your ministry is going to grow. So I thank God for that. I thank God for that. I want to encourage people all over the world, especially pastors, when we see that uh, uh, the work of God is not um, it's, it's going down or some attacks, we must just focus on God, focus on Jesus. Then he is the author and finisher of our life. Then I would like to advise people to come to Charis Missionary Church. Amen.